It's just been one thing after another with this tailing group. Push. Two for one. Oh no. That's a water bag. You guys are making me work for these last ones, aren't you? Four working teats. Never seen it before in my life. Milk. Bon appetit, little guy. Oh boy, I am trying to stay awake. morning. I'm still not sure my fosters have figured life out because they're awfully loud this morning. So you have a mummy that loves you and she's full of milk and you're addicted to me. Uh, we did not have as much luck with this other foster. I did wonder that. The slam just was not thrifty at all and I did feed it before I left but it's just been one thing after another with this tailing group. All right, well, we have a really nice set of twins to be happy about. And then I think there's only two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the one isn't pregnant. So I think there's only seven left. You need to figure out mom. She's got a ton of milk. Okay, everybody is uh, organized for this morning. Mama's pretty loud because she's the one that lost the foster baby. The fosters that I put in, uh, the one I had to feed a little bit of a bottle to would not go on mom's nipple, no matter how patient I was trying to be. And the other one would not drink from the bottle and I was able to get her or him on the nipple. It'll be a today process. I'm hoping that they will go on her. She is so patient and so kind to them. And it goes to show you sometimes it should be, it should be easy. Like it should just work. When the mom accepts the baby, it should just work. But the baby is 50% of this whole puzzle. And uh, it's, it's really hard unless you're doing it to really, really understand that. It's not really the lamb's fault. It's really not known anything but me as a food source. So we'll see. We're gonna just, we're gonna wait and see, but it might be one that we have to continue feeding a bottle to. The only good news story we have is my little warming room baby from like the first one, so two days ago is still alive. Hey buddy, how's my boy? He's wagging his tail.
Maybe just try to feed that little twin here, the black faced one, to see if she'll drink. Ah, uh, just milk's fine. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you got two. Uh oh. All right. Two for one. Well, at least we'll just leave it in there for another day, and then I'll just keep topping it off with a bottle and pray. One more in you, I think, honey, and then you're done. But you gotta do some work. I can't get it. Okay, Mom, it's given you long enough, and you haven't spit out number three. What's the matter? Last cycle has not been ideal. <laughs> Don't know about this one. Okay, I have uh, finished tagging up till last night's lambs. So far, we have 198 lambs out of 80 ewes, which is 2.475. And uh, definitely mortality has been up the last couple days. So even though that looks like a good number, um, we've definitely seen too many weak lambs. Uh, some weird stuff's happening with legs. This one still hasn't gotten up and it like, its legs are sort of out of joint or something. Like they're not, they're not right. Uh, and then the two, the part of the triplets that were born last night that I just actually recorded, they could never get up. They, they they were much like the weak lamb I had in the warming room yesterday, and I, I just call it rubber rubber limbs, rubber legs. Like they have no. It's like they have no tendons. I don't know. It's weird. They look totally normal, but they can't use their limbs. So it's weird. This group is acting completely different 
than the first cycle that literally just stopped lambing a week and a half ago. And it makes me wonder why I kept the rams in for a second cycle. The only other thing with these guys being a little bit different with gestation is Cache Valley which is a thing in, in my farm, and we definitely had a warm few days in the fall. So whether these guys, maybe this, maybe this is just a titch of it, like not enough to cause any real like spine uh, deformities, but maybe, maybe there's something going on with that. Yeah, I'm disappointed just with the way this is ending. Uh, but there's been some sort of, surprise ones the one that had the twins this morning I thought for sure she was gonna be like the last one to lamb she's got a lot of fat on her and I was like dreading needing to pull a great big giant single out of her but she lambed on her own this morning and they're beautiful set of twins so those are looking good yeah and it's just basically going around with a bottle like all day today and tomorrow are you lambing now there's only four left and one is making a lot of noise one looks like her head's low and she could go at any time. So next couple days we should see the rest of these babies. Do you guys need a bottle or have you got mom figured out here? Oh, I didn't show you yet. This lady lambed. Okay, oh, it's bottle time again. Man, it sneaks up real quick every four hours. I am sneaking into the house. The family just went back to the cabin. We're having a Christmas Eve day in the cabin eventually but i have four ewes left and all four look like they're ready to give birth while they are working away at uh, pushing something out hopefully i am going to finish our advent this is day 24 that's very exciting i didn't put you guys through 22 and 23 but i will show you what they were it was a c in his boot and then 23 was Milk and cookies. Let's do day 24. I've already seen it and I love it. There is something about finishing off the 24th with uh, maybe your favorite one. I did check my cameras and uh, I think one lamb. We might be down to three now. But uh, there's two ewes surrounding it, so that's the problem. When they're all in labor, they're all going to want to steal. Hello, Mama. You did it. How about yourself? You did not. And then there were three, and you're close. That's a water bag. Good girl, you're right in your pen already. A singing position? Stringer, stringer. We could be done soon. That's a foot. Another foot. You're doing it. Good girl. That was a lot of work. There you go. That was a lot of work. You good? Taking a breath? Is this one backwards? This one's backwards, I think, Mom. 
You guys are making me work for these last ones, aren't you? You always do. That's your baby. This one's pooping right out of you. Squeezing the poopy right out of you. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, you're a little penis, baby. Boy. Guys, look at those ears. Hi. Gorgeous. Oh, beauty. So pretty. Are you two watching how it's done? Actually, do it on your own. Please just have two. Yes. Typically, when they're this big, they just have them two. Good job, Mom. I'm going to bed you up. Oh, my goodness. It's very yellow in here. Sure. Who's it? Yay. Well, we've been waiting to play Monopoly. No, you do get your turn. Because you paid? Yeah. Right. That's nine, eh? So you land on your own spot. Okay. Dope. Well, I did leave for one cocktail. <laughs> so she's, uh, she has land and the other one's been pushing for a while. And it's like almost bottle feeding time again. So I'm like, guys, sorry, I'm going to have to quit this Monopoly game and uh, go deal with life here. But yeah, we're down to our last two and they are doing what they're supposed to do. I'm just a little leery of you number two, her hole is very, very small and I do not want to enter if she can do it on her own, but she is like panting, like full on breathing hard and like mouth open panting. So I might have to go in. I'm gonna deal with this lady first, put her in a pen, check her for another one, do all the things and then maybe she'll be a little more progressed. She scares me, that one. We're gonna be done for Christmas though. Come here, bud. Come here, Mom. Oh, this is a big lamb. Holy, you already walked around. Can I see your back end? Let's see it. <laughs> okay. Good baby. Two feet. These ones have been coming out really nice. The right way. <laughs> They're just big. Good mom. Good. Is that the head? Two feet. Good girl. Two. Oh my god, Mom, you're doing it. Good girl. Good job. Oh my god. She, that was a gift. Good job, Mom. seen this before. I've seen other people. This mama has, I think, four working teeth. So here's the normal one. So milk. Here's a little extra. Milk. Here's a third. Normal. Milk. Now the other one she's laying on. So my Milk. Do we see that? Insane. And you have one lamb. Are you kidding me? 
We've had how many sets of quads? And we have a beautiful single and four working teeth. Amazing, I love that for me. Okay, so she had four working teats, never seen it before in my life, and it's so, is a perfect ending to this year, <laughs> and also just to lambing in general for 2023. All right, let's get these guys moving. She only has one. Huh. Merry Christmas everyone. Good morning. I did try to sleep in a little bit this morning and then I was like, you know what, Sandy, you still have some bottle lambs busted. It'd be really nice if that lamb got on her mom. Every time I start talking, she looks for me. Wow, I can't I still can't believe we're done. Well, let's take a look at the work we did over the last couple days. Oh boy, I am trying to stay awake because we have another Christmas in five minutes. So winter lambing 2023 is over. That means all our lambs are born in 2023. I'll do a full year breakdown in the new year in January when I go over sort of new things that we're doing in 2024. But 
as of uh, this particular lambing, we had 213 lambs born out of 89 ewes, which is a total of 2.39 lambs per ewe born. Uh, we had 16 ewes that had singles, 38 ewes had twins, 22 ewes had triplets, 10 ewes had quads, three ewes had quints. So we had a lot of multiples considering this was an out of season breed. I usually have the most multiples in the spring when they're bred naturally in their natural breeding season. So this is a shock. It tracks with how we were feeling that first week when it was taking two hours to feed bottle babies. Just too many multiples in like three days. It was just it was just a big drop of them all at once. But we made it through. We have really healthy body, bottle babies right now, which makes me very happy. It just, it, it all the work that you put into it pays off with bottle babies, but you have to have eyes at the back of your head. And then our three saves are doing really, really, well, two saves and the one was just sort of a little runt. Um, those three are doing really, really well, which makes me so happy. My warm room baby is doing really good today. He's like following me around and jumping around. So he's, he's sort of has warmed my heart. But the second cycle, there was a lot of really frustrating, discouraging things happening. And I, I'm not really sure what it was. There were like three that just had limb issues like they, it was like rubber limbs like they could they just did not have any strength in their legs i was able to feed them like their first bottle and then after that i had to tube feed them and none of them made the night which is sort of a blessing for me because i would have just kept going and going and going and hope they got on their feet but they just never did again this season tracks with cash valley which is a mosquito disease that can happen in the fall when they're pregnant in the fall which these this group was um, I didn't see Cash Valley in terms of actual deformities, which I usually see, but I, I do wonder if, if maybe this could be like a mild symptom and they actually lived. I don't know. I don't really know enough about it to say. My mortality, it does seem like we're up a little bit again, but again, that always seems to track with multiples. So we had 10.3% mortality total, so 22 lambs out of 213. One you aborted a couple weeks early, uh, five came out really, really weak. Uh, stillborns, we had six. Rotten, we had three, and mummified, we had seven. So stillborn, rotten, and mummified, could all be under stillborn, but I'm starting to, I'm trying to sort of uh, classify each death a little better just so I can track if we got something going on. If we have to look back at the, these records, at least I've got it sort of pinpointed. Like mummies, mummified lambs have been a pretty big deal this year, but have I had them before and I've just always written them down as stillborn? Quite likely. Um, the only other data that you guys might be interested in, I should go through and see if they were a boy or a girl. Some people ask me that. Um, but what a lot of people ask are what the weights were. So our highest weight with this group was 14.8 and the lowest was four, so uh, pounds. And so the average weight for this group was 9.84, so almost 10 pounds. And considering we had that many multiples, that's pretty good. And we did have some really decent sized multiples. And I think that is why we have so many that are doing really, really well on the, on the nanny. Overall, a good group. I felt like it was good. I didn't feel really discouraged or irritated or went to bed in a real bad mood, except for like two nights ago when I was just really like, what is going on? Other than that, thought I did pretty good this time. <laughs> I am going to take a few days off, um, probably filming for a bit, but we'll see. I always say that and then I end up filming. Mark got me a drone for Christmas, so hopefully I can make my videos a little more entertaining for you guys. Uh, I'm really scared of drones because I don't want to crash them because I'm not, not good with video games and I find that really reminds me of video games and gives me, it gives me terrors. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys all had a really good Christmas. We just had such a great morning um together as a family and yesterday afternoon uh back at the cabin so we've had just a nice a wonderful we've actually had a really good like christmas season we've been sort of chilling as much as we can in december even though i'm out here a lot when i'm in the house i'm like in it i'm chilling just thanks for being here and and being a part of this christmas season with us and this christmas lambing with us yeah in this whole year i hope you've enjoyed following along with lambing and uh we'll see what 2024 has in store well that rhymed must be tired i need to go to sleep bye guys mm -hmm.